Hi everyone, Hendrika here aka Palm Gardener and today we're going to be doing a multiplication exercise with these two pots of Peperomia watermelon as you can see they are not in very good condition they've been really butchered in terms of they have you know dry leaf um, like a lot of burns all over them and they just look really really cluttered and for this one it's even worse this one has almost come out of the pot I can just yank this out look at that today what I'm going to do is to show you how to identify where to put your pruning shears you can use even good kitchen scissors sharp kitchen scissors like this because they are really soft okay so first thing what we do when we want to do some propagation is to take the entire cluster of plants out of the pot and we put it on the bench and to identify where are the plantlets okay that has developed so as you can see this plant is doing pretty well i don't see any sign of rot the root ball is intact very nice and healthy so it's good if we can bust this up so now what you will need to do is to identify where are all the plantlets so the best way to find out is by using your two fingers and picking out where they are so as you can see okay there's one little plant that grew here there's some kind of cluster here there is another bunch of some plantlets here where else what you can do is you can start by actually teasing out one plant at a time as i'm going to show you and therefore you can find out where are the rest of the plants so i identify here there's one plant so i'll take my scissors you can use secateurs to make a good clean cut and then from here you just remove the plant so here we've got one don't worry you can be a little bit aggressive if you're going to break the leaf most people are a bit like no don't break the leaf but it's okay leaves will grow again so here is one plant so i'm just going to put it to the side okay you can keep as many roots as possible okay that's what you want so that they can recover as quick as possible so some of the leaves have broken off so what you can do is you just do a quick cut to tidy it up one two there you go all right this we can discard put aside and then this we just put aside so now we come and find the next one it's all about finding okay where are all the different plantlets so i see another plant has grown up here you see they can just be pulled out okay easily and all you have to do is just take your scissors or secateurs and cut it right in the middle like this and they will separate out like so oh it's good so if you get if the leaves get caught you can sh little gently shake them so that they will just separate like i said if you break them never mind just tidy it up they'll grow back okay it's not there no leaf here right so this can be plant number two if you look carefully you can make another incision here if you really want a lot of plants you can actually cut here and do a bare root cutting but if you're not confident of your techniques in potting up and propagation then just leave this alone so I just put it to the side I think this no, there, I think there are two plants here. How you identify that there are two plants here is you've got this. How do you identify there are two plants here? As you can see, there is like a division 
of the leaf like there's one the rhizome here is connected with a V shape all right and that is how I know that actually if I want I can cut this up further and there is also roots in here so let's do that here and open it up as you can see if I open it up there we go so there are now two more plants here and therefore we've got a total of four plants so now I'm going to just pack them all up put them aside and we shall work on our plant number two so you just hang on to as much of the soil as possible okay because these the soil is still good what I normally do with all these old soil I don't throw them away I put them in the worm farm so that's what I'm gonna do so how to pop them up I'm using pots of various sizes I'm using the original pot the plant came in this is a what size is it? It's, this is a P130 so we call this a squat pot where it's not so tall it's actually half the size of a standard pot so, so um, it's used in planting plants that are fairly having not very deep roots especially as orchids they want more of a spread out concept for their growth and their roots do not have to be super deep and they don't really have deep roots so this kind of pots work well so we're gonna start with um, actually let me find ah, let's start with this guy so this guy here if he was sitting inside here it's okay but let's see if you can find something else that's more suitable so if this 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 plant set inside this big pot it looks not bad you know you can you can sit here for quite a while it doesn't look over potted but if it's set inside such a smaller one it it looks okay as well so this plant doesn't have roots so I'm going to put it in a smaller pot so that it doesn't stay too wet for very long and this will encourage it to grow roots so the media that I'm using is my all-in-one media you want to find out more about my all-in-one media there is a link to the formula below so what I'm going to do is just basically pot it up like so put in about half put the plant in the middle and just sprinkle it all around like so trying not to break the leaf so yeah Heperomia has very very brittle leaf so my all-in-one mix has got stones in there for more drainage which is great for actually all plants which um, which such as orchids and whatnot can be used so now I have popped up my peperomia like so it is a little bit buried but when you water it it should all settle down nicely like that I'm gonna put the plant with the most roots inside this pot let's see this one yes so this has the biggest you know root cluster you can actually like tear off all the roots but then recovery is much slower roots are the mouthpiece to plants so you know the roots are healthy so I'm not going to cut it all off so when you water your plant you always give it as much as possible to the point of saturation to overflows out like this what it does is that the media will settle down and therefore close up as much of the air gaps as possible so that you know it gives it the moisture to stimulate it to grow and also so that the plant doesn't keep getting all wonky left right and center so the media will sink okay so if you put a little bit too much it is not a problem because they will settle because over time the soil will compact down to reduce 
the air pockets. So as you know, Peperomia, they like shade. They do can handle a little bit of sun for a couple of hours, but more so in shade. All right, so thanks for watching. And um, yeah, do consider subscribing and catch you again in the next video. Bye.